this is Nadia and I'm recording a quick walkthrough of the updated prototype for the pipeline simulation feature in the pipeline editor. Thank you so much to everyone who provided feedback on the previous design iteration. I took all of your feedback into consideration and made some updates to how it all works and I'm gonna demonstrate it here. So um, the lint tab uh, is transformed into the validate tab and when you click into the validate tab by default we're linting your pipeline configuration using uh, static syntax linting so uh, it happens continuously just just like it currently does in the lint tab and it's represented by this option of pipeline conditions none pre-selected in the dropdown. So uh, none means that we're gonna validate only the configuration syntax and not apply any pipeline conditions like the pipeline source uh, to the validation. So if you uh, select um, a pipeline source like a default branch commit, we're going to validate the pipeline as if it ran for a default branch commit. So let's do that now. Uh, once you select this pipeline condition, you will be able to simulate the pipeline under those selected conditions. So in the future, when we have more uh, options here, like different pipeline sources or perhaps variables, um, you will be able to select them here and then simulate pipeline with all of those conditions and inputs. For now, we, we will only have one option because this is the current functionality that we have uh, in the um, uh, pipeline simulation in the standalone sea island. So let's run this simulation now. You get this loading screen where we show that the simulation is running and then uh, you get the output. So in this case, the pipeline simulation completed with errors and you see that the lint test job needs the unit test job, but it was not added to the pipeline. So, um, so now we have these results here. If we click away, uh, if we click back into the uh, syntax linting, um, we see that everything is okay, but if we go back to our simulation results, we see that there's a problem. So let's see what's going on in the edit tab. In this configuration, we see that the unit test job, it doesn't run for the main branch, which is our default branch. However, this, the lint test job needs the unit test job. So the default linting doesn't pick up this problem, but when we go to the simulation, it does. So let's edit our configuration and uh, validate our pipeline again. So you see that the selection here for the pipeline conditions persisted because that's what we were doing previously. And now all we have to do is just simulate the pipeline again to see if the problem got fixed or not. And now we see that the simulation completed successfully. So we fixed the problem with our pipeline logic and now everything looks great.